John Wardlaw worked for Bonington as a steel finisher. The factory created steel mouldings using moulds made of sand. The molten metal cooled and solidified, but the surface was still rough and was impregnated with sand from the mould. Wardlaw used various tools to bring the surface of the metal to a bright finish. The tools used to finish the metal also broke up particles of sand, producing silica particles, invisible to the eye, but which, if inhaled, could cause lung disease. One tool, a pneumatic hammer, produced lots of dust, but nothing could be done to eliminate it. For another tool, a swing grinder, an air extractor could extract the dust before it was breathed in. However, the extractor on the swing grinders regularly became choked up and ineffective, and the employer did not have a sensible system for dealing with this. Wardlaw contracted lung disease from the silica particles. He admitted that nothing could be done about the dust from the pneumatic hammers, so the failure to protect him from that dust could not constitute negligence. He argued that the failure to keep the extractors clean and operational on the swing grinders was still negligence giving rise to liability. However, had that negligence caused the disease? Could the court be sufficiently certain that the disease would not have occurred but for the failure to provide the extractors? Wasn't it actually likely that the disease would have been caused anyway, simply from the dust created by the pneumatic hammers? The court departed from a strict interpretation of the but-for test in negligence law, finding that a substantial contribution to the harm was sufficient. Lord Keith of Avonholm said, As there was no evidence to show the proportions of the dust emanating from the various sources in the dressing shop inhaled by the pursuer, his case, it was said, must fail. The pursuer has, however, in my opinion, proved enough to support the inference that the fault of the defenders has materially contributed to his illness. During the whole period of his employment, he has been exposed to a polluted atmosphere for which the defenders are, in part, to blame. From this case, we learn that when considering causation in negligence law, the but-for test cannot be applied too strictly in circumstances where a number of factors have combined to cause the harm. Mm -hmm.